Welcome to the Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 Jobs and Services course presented by Alessandro Vanini. This course will cover WIP and WIP costing new features, so previous versions of Microsoft Dynamics NAV is a prerequisite. This course was built on beta versions of Microsoft Dynamics NAV, so there might be some slight differences with the release product. Now, let me introduce Alessandro Vanini. Good morning, my name is Alessandro Vannini. I am an escalation engineer working on Dynamics NAV EMEA support organization. I'm going to talk to you about the change made about WIP functionality in the Dynamics NAV 2013. Before start watching this video, I kindly recommend you to read the workbook where you can find more detailed information about this change. In this video presentation, I will explain what is a WIP, what WIP methods are and how to use it, and I will analyze the change made in the WIP functionality. Before start, let me explain what is WIP concept. WIP is a work in progress, in general is used to indicate the item or the job that are not finished yet, but need to be considered from an inventory or and for a financial perspective. For a job, WIP is the estimated financial value, stored into a TransCGL account for cost and revenues that need to be recognized at the end of the fiscal year. This operation is very crucial from a financial perspective because costs have been already supported and revenue has been already received by the company. The impact of the WIP process is very high, so we need to grant the best accuracy to let the user calculate and post in GL account the correct values. I'm going to talk about the main important key points for in-depth information is recommended to use the workbook. I will make two demos, one about how to create a new WIP method and the second one how to use cockpit and how to post WIP. So let's start from the WIP method. Before I start to talk about what WIP methods are, I need to explain some basic concepts. We need to understand what WIP cost, WIP sales, recognized cost and recognized of sales are. WIP cost is necessary to identify all the cost about a specific job, but those are not recognized yet. WIP sales is necessary to identify all the revenues about a specific job, but those are not recognized yet. Recognized cost indicate the cost already calculated and ready to be post to the GL account. Recognize sale indicate the revenues already calculated and ready to be post in the GL account. In Dynamics NAV 2013, we have different WIP method calculation. In the database, these five methods are already stored and cannot be changed. The WIP methods are completed contract. For completed contract, the cost and the sales are recognized only when the job is set the status complete. Till that moment, all the cost and sales are only stored in the WIP sales and the WIP cost. Cost of sales. The costs are calculated as WIP when the usage is posted, job journal lines. The sales are never posted in the WIP account, but are only recognized when the sales are posted. Cost value. The cost value are calculated as WIP when the usage is posted less than estimated of the invoice contract cost. The sales are never posted in the WIP account, but are, are only recognized when the sales are posted. Percentage of completion. The costs are never calculated as WIP. When the usage is posted, the costs are recognized. The sales are calculated as WIP as the contractual value of the actual usage cost value when the invoice is posted and are recognized only after the usage has been posted. Sales value. The costs are never calculated as WIP. When the usage is posted, the cost are recognized. The sale are calculated as WIP as the contract value of the price of the job usage when the invoice is posted and are recognized only after the job is complete. These are the already, already created WIP method. Uh, please uh, remember that uh, all the calculations are in the online help. So if you want to understand how recognized cost and recognized sales, WIP cost and WIP sales are calculated, you need to check the online help. Another important thing is these five methods cannot be changed. 
can only be excluded from the, from the usage. New web page and new web method creation. In Dynamics NAD 2013, we have a new page. In this new page, the five web methods are already created. New fields have been added to this page. The most important fields are valid and system defined. As I said before, the five methods cannot be changed. You can only remove the check mark in the valid field. When you remove this check mark, the user will not be able to use the specific method as web method calculation. Now I want to show you how to create a new web method in Dynamics NIV 2013. So let's start with a small demo how to create this field. Open Dynamics NIV 2013. As you can see, we are in the home page. Click Department. Under Department, select Job. And under Administration Setup, select Job Web Method. As you can see here, we have the five predefined method. So let's create a new one. We click on New button and we say New Whip. We add the description, new whip. And here we can select which kind of calculation we want for recognized cost, recognized sales, if we want to calculate with cost, with sales. And as you can see, we have the two mentioned fields, valid and system defined. The new whip method, as you can see, doesn't have system defined. The five existing have system defined. So if we want to remove the whip cost and the whip sales, we can only use usage total cost for recognized cost. You can see we can remove. And for sales, the only option available is contract invoice price. And in this case, we can remove the whip sales. If we try to remove from another option, for example, you see at completion system automatically set and automatically set. So if I try to remove now, you can see that the system returned me an error because I cannot remove. So now I need to refresh to discard the, the error message. And the new whip is back to the previous. Here we can select, as I say, what you want. So usage total cost, cost value is possible to select. If we don't want to use anymore a whip method, the only action we can do is remove the check mark under valid. In this way, the user cannot use this whip method calculation. So let me reset valid. System defined field is not a readable field. Go back to the presentation. The next module I'm going to talk about the small change made around WIP and job functionality. We have four important changes. The first one is in job card. We have a new field that is called WIP posting method. This field has two options, per job and per job ledger entry. These indicate for the specific job how we want to calculate the WIP. Per job meaning that we want to calculate the WIP based on the job. Per job ledger entry meaning that we want to calculate accumulated value for cost and sales. In the job task, we have changed an option of the WIP total field. In the previous version, we have the option total and close. In Dynamics NAV 2013, we have the option exclude. Exclude meaning that for a specific job task line, we want to exclude from the WIP calculation. In the job setup, we have introduced three fields, the full WIP method, the full WIP posting method, and the full job posting group. Define this evaluating default WIP method, meaning that all the new job will use the WIP method insert. Same happen for the default WIP posting method and the full job posting group. 
The last change, and probably the most important, is three new fields adds in job posting group item cost applied account, resource cost applied account, and GL cost applied account. In this field, we can insert specific GL account to post item cost, resource cost, and GL cost for specific jobs. The last module is about WIP cockpit. So I'm going to explain what is cockpit and how to use it. Cockpit is an overview of WIP calculated per job. We can see all the accounts and the amount that will be posted to GL. A new field has been added in this table that is WIP warning field. This field is very important because show you if there are warning about the WIP calculation. So we can avoid number of errors after we have calculated and post WIP. I'm now going to make another demo to explain what is cockpit and how to use it and we are going to see how to post WIP calculation for a specific job. Open again Dynamics NIV 2013 Department Jobs Job List In the job list we click new to create a new job. We click enter, the system assign a new number, test for demo, we assign a bill to customer, in the posting tab we set up the job posting group and for this test we are going to use completed contract. The job is almost ready to use. We need now to define a job task line. In this case, we insert test for demo. We leave as posting and we are able to use this line. We need to define job planning lines. In the line type, we select both schedule and contract, we leave the date, we insert the document number 1 and for this example we use a GL account 8320 with quantity 1, unit cost 100 and total cost, unit price 200. We are almost ready to start with our demo. We can exit, we can exit, we can exit and we can go back to job and select job with cockpit. Enlarge the page, we insert a filter to just to show our job that is J040 and we apply the filter. As you can see, we have the WIP warning, we have all the value for the WIP and all the task, all the value for the task. At the moment, we don't have any entry, so if I try to calculate WIP, there is no WIP entry to calculate. So let's go back to our job. We need to make some posting. So I select again my job card, I go back in job task and in the job planning line. I want to post the usage. So I open job journal. I select calculate remain usage. I insert the document number. I select the correct dimension that in our example is this one and I click OK. System find one remaining usage, usage to transfer. We insert a cost and we post. So at the moment we have post the usage for our job. So we go back 
and we go back to job and we select again cockpit need to filter again and apply now we can try to calculate whip again as you can see we have a message whip has been successfully calculated at the moment we don't see any recognized cost we have only whip cost total cost no sales has been recognized we can proceed we go back to our job again we select our job let me enlarge that is much clear job task line job planning line and now we want to post our sales invoice we just click create sales invoice we click ok and the system going to create the invoice you see the line were successfully transferred to invoice clicking sales invoice credit memo the system direct us immediately to the created job to the created invoice i enlarge you see we have the invoice for our customer with the price we set up in the planning line we can post do you want to post there we go the invoice has been posted so we go back we go back in our job in cockpit we need to filter because we have closed the windows okay and we calculate again job whip has been calculated as you can see everything works fine till now in this demo we have used completed contract so as i said before during the presentation completed contract meaning that we need to complete the job to let the system recognize the cost and the sales so we go back to our job again we select our job and we change the status we set to complete you see the system tell us that we need to calculate whip and post whip to gl to complete our calculation we go back again in cockpit we filter and we calculate whip and the whip has been calculated so you can see that our cost is being recognized as the sales from the cockpit we have some capabilities for example we can delete the whip entry because before post to gl we understand that something is wrong so if you click delete with entry you can see the system allow you to delete in this case, I don't want to delete. As the last task is 
post the WIP to GL. So by clicking the button, insert the document number and click OK. The cost has been posted to GL. As you can see, the job is complete, has been removed from the cockpit. Our demo is finished. Thank you and bye. Thank you for reviewing this course. Additional new features can be found on the Partner Learning Center. If you have specific questions on any of the features shown, you can contact the Partner Technical Services by emailing askpts at microsoft.com or by calling 1-800-MPN-SOLVE.